in planning, um, you talked about planning, and you know that to take to get development down to the people, you, you'd involve the local government areas. What's it been like working with the local government administration in Delta? Well, um, it's 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 been an experience, uh, I, I would say. But we must look at the challenges of the local government. Uh, yes, it's quite easy to point our kitty fingers at local government councils, um, but there are also challenges. Knowing what I know now, um, sometimes when I have to chair the, um, the the JAC meeting, the Joint Allocation Committee meeting, we find that uh, the allocation that is coming to the local government about 65 percent, or sometimes over 65 percent, goes into the payment of primary school teacher salary. Okay, and then. Uh, of course, what you have left is 35 percent. Sometimes after 35 percent, you have about 30 percent going into the payment of the workers of the local government councils. Uh, so much so that uh, sometimes it's difficult, if you, are, if you just leave them alone, they might not even be able to pay the, 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 the primary school teacher salary. So what we are doing in the state is that in a month, every month, I have to augment whatever they are getting with about 600 million so that they can meet up the payment of the primary school teacher salary. The, at the end of the day, what is left for them to function with might be maybe less than 5%. Now, the, 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 the ones that are um, what I call smart, the chairman that are smart, especially the urban local government, they've been able to devise ways of in, improving on their internally generated revenue. Um, apart from the fact that as a state, we also give them part of our IGR, the internally generated revenue, 10% goes to the shared amongst, amongst um, um, the local government council. So first, funding is a challenge for local government. And that's why I've been advocating that we need to look at how uh, we fund the payment of primary school teacher salary. Should we continue to leave it with the local government councils? My answer is no. But if we have to, then we have to increase the allocation of the local government councils to take care of primary school teacher salary. The other, uh, the other challenge is to move it from, from the local government councils to the states and increase the allocation to the states. The federal government really uh, should scale down what it's getting as, 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 as allocation. Uh, and in doing that, we also scale down some of the responsibilities it's taking up now. The federal government has no business dealing with primary schools, dealing with secondary schools, no business dealing with, dealing with primary health care centers, dealing with uh, secondary health care centers. Uh, let us just face the challenge of security and all the, 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 the major issues. Now, so we, we have that funding as a big challenge in local government council. But having said that, we also see have the challenge of um, the, the capacity um, for managing the local government, local government council. Like I said, some uh, have, they have a local government, for, for instance, that um, the chairman did so well it used to be what we call the zero allocation local government. That means by the time you finish uh, deducting the primary school teacher salary, even the money to pay worker salary is not there. So we call them zero allocation. But this guy was able to uh, improve on his internal generator revenue, so much so that by the time he was even leaving, uh, he was not owing anybody. Right now, he wants to come back. And everybody is just saying he should go. You know, he's, he's coming virtually on, on a post. So we have that kind of persons at that level. But um, we also have. Uh, persons that, uh, okay, uh, okay, what is left? 5%. Let's just blow the 5%. So there are those who, who believe that the joint account um, syndrome, so to speak, if the joint account is broken now, so that local government gets their own account separate from that of the state, it will make it a lot easier. They will suffer here. They will suffer. I mean, for me, uh, I, will be, I will be relieved because uh, that 600 I'm giving for that augments their, 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 their salary, I, I, will not, I will not do that. Sometimes I have to intervene in certain local governments to be able to deal with uh, the, the certain issues. And uh, some of the responsibilities of the local government that I'm thinking of now, I, would, I mean, if, if, if you give them the money directly, uh, for me, really, um, uh, it, it will, it will uh, be better for me. All right, we'll go to break now, but we'll, uh, we'll come back and continue on some other aspects of Delta. Act 23. Join us again. If you want to know what's trending or you miss your favorite live shows, you can watch it all on our YouTube channel. Simply log on to www.youtube.com forward slash channels web. Scroll down to your favorite program and click play. You can also view all uploaded videos by clicking on view all. Don't forget to subscribe and get the latest videos. If they are interesting, like them and be heard. Get connected with the Channel Television YouTube page. The news at your fingertips. 
experience the action. Witness the passion. Feel the pain. But that's not the way. And share in the games that come from your exciting world of sports on Channels Television. For the next two years, the Super League. Sports this morning, 9.30 till 10. And sports tonight, 9 till 10 p.m. Channel Sports, defining the moments of true sports. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Welcome to you live from Asaba, the Delta State Capital, where they're commemorating Delta at 23. Dr. Emmanuel Odoan, Governor of Delta State, is here with us to shed some light on why they decided to go ahead with that commemoration. Well, in continuing with this, I mean, uh, earlier on, yes, the, nat the National Conference talked about state creation, but just before we went to break, you were talking about the challenge of local government. But then, yeah, all the Nigerians who have spoken about they don't understand why that agitation for creating states. Now, if we've got this challenge, if states are complaining about paying teachers, we saw the, what happened in Benway, states are complaining about even surviving, what's the rationale, do you think? I mean, is it justified the arguments we'll hear that we need to create more states? Because one wonders, even if they are just the revenue, the revenue formula, get more allocation to states, would that help? Well, the, the, the issue of state creation, uh, why, why do people agitate for states? Basically, it's because of development, infrastructure development, maybe human capital development also. Uh, but to some extent, uh, being able to live with what they call my people, uh, people of the same culture, the same behavior and all that, um, being able to, 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 to live with them. Now, how do we do with the challenge of development? People have now come to um, see development be synonymous with states. And because everybody wants development, <laughs> uh, they also want state creation because they believe that uh, by creating states, that they, they, they be developed. Uh, let's take Delta, for instance. We're under Ben there. Um, what, we, what has happened in Delta in the last 23 years may probably never have happened if we're still with Ben there. In terms of infrastructure development, uh, I don't see a, 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 a state like Ben there coming to put an airport in Asaba, for instance, or coming to put uh, the kind of things that, that we are seeing all, all over the place. So now, one of the things I have uh, always said, look, can we not do, do this, is to, is to decentralize uh, development and put centers across Nigeria um, that can be um, growth centers, uh, especially for infrastructure development. I'll take data, for instance. Um, just before my predecessor left, he, he put up a, an outfit called the Delta State Oil Area Producing Development Commission, the SOPADEC. Uh, that came out of agitation of the oil producing communities for faster development, for more, for, for more development. So uh, what I started, of course, funding them, and averagely in a year, we give them some, 30, some 35 billion, 36 billion uh, every year to that outfit to develop the oil producing um, communities. It's not still enough, but at least it is something significant and it's doing a lot of difference. Um, areas that had never seen development before, at least are beginning to see one form of development or the other. Even the people from the oil producing community that had never tasted uh, what you call it, uh, contract or empowerment at all before, at least through that outfit, they're, so, they're getting some, some, some empowerment. Some of their children are getting um, scholarship. Some of them are even getting um, employed, you know. So, that's, the agitation is still there, but at least it has reduced the agitation. And it has also given them a sense of belonging, you know, um, which, was, which, which, which was not there before. Because one of the reasons for the Niger Delta crisis, uh, you must not forget, is that um, uh, they were being totally excluded from, from uh, um, um, the management of the funds coming from, from, from their area. But with the SOPADEC now, I mean, they have some... Uh, uh, 
participation, and, and that is, I would say, is helping. So to reduce, coming back to the issue of state creation, uh, to reduce uh, the agitation for cre state creation, there must be a way of ensuring that this and even development across Nigeria. It will be difficult to attain that what I call even development because, uh, like in Delta, I mean, it's just it's just natural that Asaba will develop more than other places. Asaba being the state the state uh, capital will develop yeah. more than other places. Um, so it, it's it's. Uh, if you